With a lot of the world having to sit in front of screens for extended periods of times, tension around the neck, the shoulders, and really just all over has become quite a problem. So in today's video, we are going to go over three different techniques to reduce and hopefully eliminate tension in these different areas. So for this first technique, you are going to require a tennis ball, a lacrosse ball, or my personal favorite tool, which is a Theracane. And what we're gonna be working through here is three different release techniques. The first technique is going to be right in the rhomboid. So this is gonna be right in between our scapula and our spine. And we're gonna be looking for that sweet spot right in the middle. And really all we're gonna work here is with the Theracane or with the tennis ball, is just initially applying pressure down into the tissue. I would recommend sitting here for anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute initially, just allowing the tissue to kind of absorb and get used to that sensation. And then you're gonna to start to do very subtle rocking motions where you're just beginning to break that tissue up. Essentially just trying to create more space and length in that muscle. And because the tissues of the rhomboid kind of come out on a slight angle away from the spine towards the scapula, I suggest trying to go opposite to that. So if the tissues are kind of running on a slight angle, we're gonna actually start to work opposite to that. Essentially just going against the grain of the tissue. You're gonna spend anywhere between two to three minutes on this muscle. And you should start to notice just more circulation and hydration start to come into that area, kind of over that time period. And that's when you'll know you would have experienced a adequate release. Following this release, we're gonna move up to the upper traps, which is a very common area. A lot of people are always kind of squeezing this spot. And instead of just squeezing it just with your fingers, which is something you can do, just use a tool because it's gonna be a lot less fatiguing on your body. And it's probably gonna end up being a lot more effective as well, actually applying pressure in there with a tool. So for this one, if you are gonna use a tennis ball, then I would suggest trying to get underneath something because you wanna kind of attack this tissue from the top portion. So you can either put this underneath a bar, underneath a table, and essentially you're just gonna to try to gently apply pressure into it. If you do have a Theracane or Back Buddy or something of that sort that looks kind of like a candy cane, I suppose, then you're not gonna to have to go through such extreme measures as you can kind of just get into the tissue and you're just gonna to start to kind of wedge that down as much as you can. Essentially just apply the pressure in and then think you're trying to pull the tissue downward. Once you get that first little bit of resistance into it, you can do very small range of motion exercises here with the neck. Essentially just turning your head slowly to the opposite way that you're releasing. And you can just do a slight lean with the head and then you can also do a little bit of a rotation as well. I would suggest going very softly on this. Definitely don't just yank yourself to the end range of motion. Think more about applying the pressure, maintaining the pressure, and then starting to go through the range of motion sequence. For this last release, we are going to get just right at the upper portion of our cervical spine here. This is a point where a lot of tension headaches tend to get housed. Personally, having dealt with tension headaches, any time that I would do release work in here, I could actually ref feel it refer all the way to my eyes. So it's gonna be very similar to what we prioritized in the previous releases. Essentially, just taking our tool of choice, we're going to either lie down on it with a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball, with the Theracane, what I would suggest is actually going around the opposite shoulder of the side of your neck that you're trying to target. And the reason for this is I think you can just get better leverage on the tool and you can just apply a little bit more sustained pressure into it. Again, once you have your pressure into that spot, just hang out there for about 30 seconds to a minute just letting the tissue kind of relax and just kind of digest into the sensation that you're putting into it. The range of motion here is going to be very small and we can do just very light chin tucks, just kind of stretching just the backside of those tissues, just on the backside of the C-spine there, 
just kind of gently rolling them over as we apply pressure with our tool of choice. So for the second technique here, what we are gonna get into is a all fours position, and we're gonna work just some light thoracic spine rotations. So this is a relatively common exercise. You may have seen people do this at the gym. It's also known as thread the needle. We are just going to call it T-spine rotations. So initially what we're gonna do here is reach across our body and just making sure that we have some air in through our abdomen as well as maybe a little bit into our rib cage. Now that is there to offer as a suspension system for us to kind of work off of. So as I'm reaching here, I'm gonna be essentially trying to breathe into the one side to try to create some length. And then I'm just gonna be pulling my arm through, trying to maintain some of that length as I rotate the opposite way. Once I get to the opposite direction, it's gonna be the same sort of principle. I'm gonna maintain some of the tension that took me through that rotation, and I'm just gonna take it back as I begin to tuck my hand back underneath my elbow. This is gonna be a great way to open up all those tissues that we just released, but it's also gonna be a great way for us to kind of reprogram them so they don't automatically just glue back to how they were before. Remember, something that is really important is to not just do the stretch, not just do the release work, but actually follow that up with some type of corrective work that is gonna benefit your body with a subset of programming that it can operate from. So with the T-spine rotations, I would encourage you to go through anywhere from 12 to 16 reps on each side is good. And you're probably looking at anywhere between two to three minutes on either side. Just take your time going through it, making sure that you're feeling certain muscles connect to it, and really trying to create adequate length in your body as you go through this as well. So now that we got the release work out of the way, we got our corrective exercise. The third and final technique is going to be a lifestyle hack, not really a hack, but something that we can integrate into our lifestyle to just offset some of this tension in our body. And that is going to be to stay hydrated. Now, I know this seems seemingly obvious to just drink water, but so many people just forget to drink water, especially when they get wrapped up in doing extended periods of computer work or work where they're kind of hunched over a desk. So if you need to set a reminder on your phone, if you need to douse yourself in water over your head to remind yourself that you need to drink water, do what you need to do, but try to aim for at least two liters of water per day. And on the note of water, try to make sure that you're drinking good water as well. There is tons of different processes that water goes through when it's just coming out of your tap. So try to have some type of filtration system in place. That way you're getting the best bang for your buck when you do drink water. So when it comes to addressing a tension headache or just tension in your body in general, it's important to look at this from multiple angles. There typically isn't just a one quick fix to resolve something. Typically with the body, one system feeds back off the other. So it needs to be treated as such. And alongside that, we also wanna make sure that we are staying consistent with these types of practices. For without consistency, really all we're doing is just offering band-aid solutions to a lot deeper problems. So take these different techniques, try the release work, try the corrective exercises, and drink your damn water. And let me know how it went for you down in the comment section below. Did you find that these exercises and staying hydrated and doing your release work was something that was beneficial for you. I'm keen to know as these are simply techniques I have found work for myself as well as for my clients. If you enjoyed this video, then don't be afraid to like this video as well as subscribe to the channel for more future content similar to this. I got lots of things lined up around different types of exercises, release techniques, even different types of breathing techniques that we're going to do to optimize our body. But alongside all that, I wanna make sure that we are operating from a clear state of mind and we are ultimately progressing towards our own place of self-mastery. So if any of those things are something that you're into, then be sure to be on the lookout for more future content. Until next time, make sure you are prioritizing and then you are optimizing for you. I will see you in the next one. Peace.